What's going on guys? Welcome to my first ever vlog, my first YouTube channel. I think it's on YouTube or something like that. Yeah, so it's my first video and I don't have no idea what to talk about, but I have this painting I made. So let's talk about the painting. So this painting actually started with an idea with one of my buddies, Trey Johnson. Shout out to my boy Trey. And uh, yeah, so it's my boy Trey, he works with me in the recruitment office and he's a real good dude, real positive guy. I love Trey. Um, He's from Phoenix, Arizona also, just like me. And he was actually a baseball, baseball player, basketball player. He thinks he's a baseball player. We actually hit the other day. He plays basketball, he can ball, he can still dunk. I told him that I can take him one-on-one -on -one any day, but he doesn't want the challenge, so. But anyway, me and him were talking about the movie The Joker, and he was like, bro, have you seen The Joker? And I was like, no. And he's like, dude, why not? So. He sent me the link, you know, we sent like, you know, illegal movies. So he sent me the link to the Joker and he looks kind of scary right now. I kind of want to just go away from him. And I watched it and if you guys haven't seen the Joker, it's a great movie with a huge message. So I recommend going and watching it. And after I watched the movie, I was like, dang, you know, I finally understood how, how people live their lives sometimes wearing a mask and and that really inspired me to depict what I felt during the movie. And, you know, there were many scenes throughout the movie. And I chose one that really stood out to me. And this was when he's sitting in the studio with Murray. And he is basically feeling less. And he turns around and just looks at him. And says that he really doesn't know how, how he feels. In, you know, short words. And so you can see that he's turned around. Very serious. And he... He looks like he wants to do some terrible things and it, it's it's very strong it's a strong image and whenever i was painting it i felt i felt the stare i felt the look i felt how sometimes people go around and they they bully people they make others feel as if they're not a part of society as if they're not a part of you know the human race and it's terrible guys it's awful so when I went into this painting, I first I was like, okay, I'm not gonna make a small painting. I need to make a huge painting. And you know, a little bit about my painting career. <laughs> I can say that because I've done a couple of them. Um, back when I was younger, I I had no idea why I liked painting. It was just something that caught my attention, and ever since I liked putting paint on a canvas. I remember back in back in second grade, I was doing a project, and the teacher told us. Go ahead and, what did she say exactly? She said, oh yeah, paint, paint yourself flying in a city, right? So me, I drew my little stick figure and it was me basically flying and I think I had like a buddy like attached to my hand and we were flying over the city, like New York City, right? And so I drew like little, little buildings with pastel and little squares. And I remember that my, back in second grade, my little painting, thing oil pastel actually looked like something and I was like wait like mine actually kind of looks like a real person and someone actually flying and I remember my neighbor the kid working next to me his looked like just like he grabbed his pastel and just went like that you know just everywhere so I raised my hand and I'm like teacher why does his look like that and why does mine look like this and back in second grade I remember that and she like came to me and said like, hey, like he's trying, you know, go ahead and, and help him out. And I was like, but why? Like I had no idea. I didn't understand why, why he wasn't, why his didn't look as like a like normal painting like mine. And in that moment, I'm like, wait, I kind of have like an eye for this thing. You know, I might be different in the painting thing. So like I grew up, you know, second grade, middle school, high school and I took art classes in high school. I took three art classes. Shout out to Miss Haas. She's amazing. And she taught me a lot with skills, techniques, and a lot of patience with paintings. And this painting has meant a lot to me because it, it kind of brought everything that I've ever learned in art. And it's not just some paints on a canvas. It, it's meaning, you know, it, it sets a tone. It shows what exactly what it, it's doing. You know, it's, it's, having focus on something and being committed to live a life that 
not necessarily you choose to live, but you, you, you grow from it. You know, you gain knowledge as you go through life and you are put in situations that sometimes you're not prepared for, but you do the best that you can. And it's extremely important in life and sports and education and everything. And so whenever I did start this painting, I, I thought of Trey a lot. I was like, Trey, like, I'm gonna make something cool, bro. I'm gonna make something sick. And he's like, all right, yeah, bro, yeah. And me and Trey, you know, we, we, we kick it. She's cool, cool dude. And I went, I went down, where did I get this? this camera is. It's Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I gotta shop at Hobby Lobby, guys, you know, what's up? So I go to Hobby Lobby and I'm like, okay, I need to get a huge canvas. So there's like, you know, 30 by something and 50 by something and I find this one and it's a two pack actually. I find this one and I'm like, and I, I normally don't go off by measurement, but I, I grab it and I'm like, cool, I'm gonna put a face on it. And it turns out to be the Joker face. So there it is. And you know, this, whenever you look at this painting, it, it means a lot to different people because it shows what the movie was about. Maybe it shows personal experience. And that's truly why I like creating art that shows what, you know, what a person is really going through. And that's why I take, you know, every moment to think about others more than I think about myself and I put their needs before mine whether it's something huge you can do for them or maybe a simple hello. And yeah, guys, that's one of the last paintings I made. And I'm gonna go ahead and review different paintings that I've done. But just a couple of details on this painting. I wanna let you guys know how I started. So, so, so I'm moving away from like the story of it and I'm moving into like the actual, like la pintura que le metía a esta cosa. Entonces, so the painting of it. So first, Whenever you make a painting, especially one this size, you have to use a grid. So what I do is I, I grab a ruler and I grid this whole thing out. So I, I, I make lines going up, so like one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. And then I go down this way and go sideways like that. Boom, 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 boom. And now I have a whole canvas with a bunch of lines. Then I have the image that I'm gonna paint and I, I think I have it here somewhere still. So you have the image and that image also has lines the same way you would do like a math grid okay and now you have the math grid and you have your canvas and you basically look at it and go like this a mosquito bit me it says you use your pencil right i usually use a pencil because you know you mess up sometimes so i grab my little grid grab a pencil grab the pencil there's a canvas and then you just draw it on there Boom, 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 until you have a bunch of lines, okay? And all art is, they're lines, colors, and shades, that's it. So like, for example, this line, that's a line, right? Now they have colors, there's a red color, okay? Step two, and then shades, light, dark, light, that's all it is, guys. Art is lines, colors, and shades. You go with any example, so in the eye, right? I don't know why I'm covering his eye like this, but in his eye. So you have this line here, okay? And I'm gonna bring it in a little closer for you guys so you guys can see. So with the eye, wait, can you guys see? Okay, mama. So with the eye, you have a line here, and I really hope it doesn't blink because that'd be sketchy. So you have a line here, and then color, the color blue, navy blue, and then you go ahead and, and shade that in. And if I zoom in, you can really see the detail in the eye. And it looks nice whenever you zoom in and kind of see the different shading you have in there. And that's what it looks like, guys, up close. So that's my Joker painting. And like that one, I love doing paintings with meaning. And that one has been one of the most meaningful so far because when I watched that movie, it was, you know, really like, damn, you know, people are going through stuff. And voila, the Joker painting. Let me know if you like it. 
And then I think at the end of like, what are these called again? Vlogs. At the end of vlogs, you have to say like, subscribe to my channel, which is like, no idea where, but I know it's like up here somewhere. Just click here, try this. So click, just use your mouse and click everywhere around here until you hit up subscribe button. And then, yeah, I'm gonna make more of these cause I think it's cool like just sharing my story with every painting, so. Dale.